Hi, welcome to MFL Outdoors. My name's Carl and today uh, I'm going to be doing a bit of moulding on, on some ground I'm working on. I'll probably uh, shoot one or two rabbits that uh, might be out while I'm out and I'm going to let my uh, dogs do a bit of retrieving. Uh, that's uh, Bertie and Barney. Bertie's a Springer Spaniel and Barney's uh, a young Cocker Spaniel. He's just learning at the moment. But So yeah, we'll see how we get on. The weather's um, not doing too bad. Hopefully it'll uh, hold out and we'll uh, not have any rain like we've had for weeks on end. What an absolutely stunning view. Okay, so there was a, a rabbit at about 55 yards um, that I saw just uh, eating out in the sun. We've taken that one. I'll use that for the dogs. So we'll see how we get on with them. Barney, get on, get on. Barney, Barney, here, here. Go on, get on down there. Go on, get on, get on. Good lad. Good boy. Bring it in, bring it in. Bring it in. Good boy. Sit. That's it. Good boy. Release. Dead. Good lad. Good boy. Right, get on. Get on. Get on. Get on. Good boy. Bring it in, lad. Good boy. Bring it in. Bring it in. Right, release. Good boy. Right, leave it dead. It's an absolutely stunning place. Uh, some fantastic views. I'll just bring you across there. Uh, we've got a lot of the grouse fells. All the land around here is managed. And uh, contrary to popular belief, that actually helps the wildlife. Um, unlike some uh, celebrities would have you believe. It's absolutely stunning out here. Yeah, we've been lucky today. Um, there's next to no wind. We're about 1,200 feet above sea level, so we normally get all the bad weather up here, but it, uh, when, when it is nice, it's, uh, it's lovely. It's uh, been really quiet. Uh, I haven't seen a soul, actually, all day. Farmer's been passed a couple of times on the quad because it's lambing season. Okay, so the trap's been set off, and there we have him. There's our mole. So that's uh, that's the first one. As you can see, the other side hasn't gone off. You're capable of catching two moles in uh, in one trap. Go and have a look. Uh, we have another trap further up here set, and we'll there. Uh, we'll go and have a look and see if anything's in there. I have a feeling probably not, because the mole that was in that run further down is probably the one that's been making all this mess. And, uh, we'll have a look and see see if we've got anything else. as I thought that one there you see that uh, that hasn't gone off I don't know if you can just see it there and that's because the run that comes up to here where we just caught the last mole um, that's where it's been coming it's been coming out onto its feeding ground and I put one in here just in case to, to catch anything that might be up here but uh, uh, that one can come out too now Okay, but that's three traps lifted and two moles are out now. Uh, I didn't bother showing you the other one that I lifted. I, I didn't want to bore you with that, but I'll show you roughly here 
this is damage caused by just one mole and it just shows how much damage they can they can make uh, this is where it was feeding and I'll just show you all around here and this is all done by one mole and then down this is his run here which is where he was actually caught as we follow it down he was actually caught there then you follow his his tunnel It goes all the way down back to the wall and that's where his nest will be or her nest okay so I've just stopped for a break uh, I've done about well, a third of the field I thought I'd make myself a nice cup of coffee I'm using the, the new pot from uh, TBS that I got once I've used it for a while I'll give you a bit of a review on that stainless steel and the uh, markings are all etched in uh, which is great because when you clean it you don't wear them off there's a nice lid there you go for easy cleaning and it does me for everything uh, for cooking food boiling water one pot does all I always put a piece of board over the top here um, because if you get any sheep in the field and they walk over it they don't uh, they don't put the foot down the hole and if the, the this one's quite deep down oh, and it's gone off there you can see um, that one's quite deep down but if you get some that are near the surface the uh, sheep can stand on them and set them off it doesn't do anything to the sheep but it just uh, uh, renders the trap useless really <laughs> so let's see what we've got in here <laughs> yep and there we go we've got another mole and uh, you can see again that one hasn't gone off you do quite often get one in either end and um, we could just call them doublers uh, but that that's why I prefer to use these traps uh, they're very effective and uh, you've got the chance of getting two and you'll often find if one's been been uh, caught uh, another one will come along the tunnel and it'll smell that one and head towards it because they are territorial of course it gets caught on the other side at one time I used to mark all the mole hills where I put traps with uh, markers you know like uh, you get people put in sticks uh, or something similar so they know where the traps are but the problem with that is other people can see them and inevitably you get these stolen or interfered with so I moved over to GPS which is a much more modern way of doing it and uh, I'll just show you that now okay so if you can see the red cross with the circle around it down in the right hand side that's where the vehicle is at the moment and all the little yellow dots above it is where there's actually a trap so I can actually go from there I can get right up to the trap um, just by following um, the, the, the uh, GPS coordinates which I think is a much better way of doing things uh, this one I, this program I'm using is called view ranger but it's not actually available anymore but something like Garmin or they do wear uh, some quite good GPS and uh, that that would be uh, a good choice they're waterproof as well uh, most of the units I think so if you're out in the field they, they'll take a bit of punishment I just use an old mobile phone turned out great and that's why I've still managed to use uh, the view ranger program because I disconnected it from the internet 
and they the company who made it haven't been able to switch it off I don't think that's something they should have done in the first place to be honest because people had paid for the app they sold it on to uh, another company seven seven o'clock on the evening so i'm going to head back home get the dogs fed and get myself some tea thanks for joining us on this one it's just been a short video just to let you see the sort of things i get up to during the day uh, out in this beautiful countryside thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one